Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. And today, this is my new automatic smelting setup. It's only 6x4x5, by by so really, really compact. Um, a total of, I think, 100 blocks in space. So, this pole doesn't matter, this is just for counting how big it is. And yeah, this is the whole design right here. So really, really nice. And you can turn off the uh, minecart that's picking up the item by flipping that lever. But right now I have it set on comparator mode right there. So now you can turn it off. And there. And uh, there's another way, of course, instead of using this, you can just use a comparator and hook into it. So that's a different way. So whenever the furnace is on, this minecart would start to run. But of course, I do like more control using the lever. And what it's doing is it's letting this minecart go down here. And it will pick up item from the hopper. Goes back up. Run over this hopper. Which will run into this chest. So then this chest here. The fuel is hooked up to the side of the furnace. The uh, material is hooked straight on top to the uh, furnace. So it will go into this slot here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how you could build one yourself. Okay, so you want to start off with two hoppers facing downwards. So what you want to do is have blocks like this underneath. Have two hoppers on here. And have chest here, chest here, trap chest in the middle. And after that, you need to break this block, place the hopper onto there. Place the furnace in the middle, so get out of furnace, and place it into the middle, then you need to place block there, uh, and it will go over here, place the hopper facing towards that block, take this block, place it underneath, place this here, and then a lever that faces into the quartz block, this will be powering your powered rail right here, so it will go straight into turn, a turn will go up, up into three powered rail, like this, and then it will just hook up diagonally, and turn, then go up, turn right here, then go up, and this is where the hopper will be facing straight in it. Perfect. And we will place a lever right here. Uh, and oh, this lever will be facing into our little powered rail over here. And we should be good. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.